guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to show you how i made this kitchen clock using compact disc plastic spoons and plastic forks welcome to the video guys First, you're gonna make your lines. You have to make sure you have 12 lines. That's where you're going to place your spoons. And you can, oh, for your numbers. That's what I'm doing here, guys. After that, you're gonna place your spoon on the lines that you've created, or oh, spoons and fork. You need six spoons and six forks, plastic spoons and plastic forks, guys. So what I'm doing here is gluing them down to the compact disc. That's how it looks like after gluing it. Then I took it outside and spray painted. Then next, I'm going to take the disc that I'll be placing on the back side and cut it. You have to hit your knife, guys, first. It will make it easier for you to cut your compact disc. So that's what I'm doing here. You hit it, then cut your compact disc. Cut it in the shape of the clock that you're going to be placing there. Make sure to wear a glove so that you don't burn your hands. Yeah. So that's what we're doing, guys. So next, we're going to place the other disc. On top of the spoons on the back side on top of the spoons and forks that's what I'm doing guys I had already spray painted on the front side then after that we're going to take it outside and spray paint it again that's what I'm doing here guys you spray paint it on the back side we're going to use two two or three coats guys so after I spray painted and it dried I used a black paper and place it on top of the disc at the front side then cut your numbers or you can just go ahead and print them but for me I cut my numbers then I'm laying them down on the paper that is on the compact disc that's what I'm doing guys I decided to just do four numbers 12 9 3 and 6 so that's what I'm placing on the clock guys yeah I'm using my hot glue to glue them down. So after that, you're going to take your clock. I was gluing mine down because it had broken. Then you're going to open the, you're going to remove the minutes second and our hand clock uh, and our hands guys then you're gonna take your clock and insert it from the back side i'm sticking it with glue insert it on the back side that's what i've done guys then you're gonna put back your hour minute and second hands back after you've glued it on the back side so that's what i'm doing here guys Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, after that, you're going to place your battery. Then your clock should be running. That's it, guys. That's what we have. That's the final product. So, guys, that's our final product. 